I would like to have uh, a research and development center where we'll be carrying out different experiments and these experiments will help us be able to also venture in space using nano satellites. So that is my biggest dream right now and I think and I, I know Uganda can make it. Meet Assistant Superintendent of Police Winnie Naruhoa, Uganda's first female rocket scientist serving under the police air wing at Kajansi as an engineer. Born in a family of six, Winnie always wanted to take on something extraordinary and challenging since childhood. I want things that are challenging me. I want to solve uh, problems. So that's why I ended up going to Ukraine. And I felt Ukraine is... Uh, a good country for me because I uh, reading about them they are so knowledgeable and the country is fairly cheap compared to Western Europe. She drew inspiration from Winnie Bianyema, Uganda's first female aeronautical engineer. With my dad uh, he once talked about Honorable Winnie Bianyema as by then uh, she was a flight engineer. I picked up interest from there. I felt once she, he talked about Winnie Vianima, I felt like I've reached where I want. Talking about flight, then I started thinking about aeroplanes, I, I started thinking about space. So I took up the interest from there. And when at school in Taiba College, they used always to ask us about our, like what we want to be when we finish school. So. That is what I was telling my teachers, and they could not believe it. I told them I want something different. I want to go into engineering. And baby steps in attaining her dreams would be reached at after a senior six. We had to look for somewhere for me to go. Fortunately, by then, there was an office at uh, Sunset Arcade. It was taking students to Ukraine. So I visited the offices. I asked them if they have a course I want. I, want, I wanted something to do with aircrafts, helicopters, rockets, you know, they were so surprised. Eh? So they were like, oh no, there's a university. So I was so excited that day as in it was the best day of my life because I felt I had got what I wanted. So we started on the processes. So I found myself in Ukraine. In Ukraine, despite the bad weather, she never lost sight of her main goal. You do the maths again, you do the chemistry, you do the physics. So to me, actually, I was just enjoying because I had the passion. So whatever they could bring, I would have that positive mind that I must crush it so that I get to my intention. To be awarded a degree, Narubawa had to present a design project. Hers was about a transonic fighter jet and it earned her a first class degree. Like I told you, I like things that, you know, <laughs> Uh, a bit different. Uh, so with that design, I still have it actually on paper. And at a point, I, th I thought maybe I should start making it reality, yeah? but it's too expensive. But I know with time, I will make it. Upon her return to Uganda, Nalboa tried out her luck in the private sector, but was later informed of an opening at the Uganda police. She was enlisted and trained at the police training school in Kavalier. Currently, Nalboa is working on a drone space program that is aimed at having police operations such as surveillance commensurate with the current times. In the digital era, so our police should also start working smart. And working smart is our police having uh, aerial eyes. You know what I mean? Having aerial eyes that is operating drones in our police force. So I feel that would be something very different when we start operating. At the police air wing, Nalubawa is working under the guidance of Colonel Ham Kaija, who also heads the department. Winnie, her studies can uh, allow her to work on these ballistic missiles. And, uh, and uh, currently, in the air wing, she's, uh, she has a program she's bringing up of owning, of having drones. She's putting up a drone project and see how can they benefit the police. That's what she's doing currently. The Uganda Police Top Management has so far showed commitment to fund and fully support such projects in its bid to professionalize the police. And this is something that has proved to be music to ASP Winnie Nalboa's ears. Samuel Senono, 